This k and air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. k and 63-9025 air intake fits 2005 to 2011 Toyota Tacoma models with 4.0 liter engines. The 63-9025 comes with k and famous million mile limited warranty. It is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check knfilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. KN Power Testing showed an estimated power gain of 10.3 horsepower at 4,979 RPM with the 63-9025 air intake installed on a 2005 Toyota Tacoma with a 4.0 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Loosen the two nuts that secure the engine cover, then remove the engine cover. For 2008 and later model vehicles, Please skip to step number six as the intake tube on these models will be attached to the resonator chamber. For all other models, loosen the hose clamp securing the intake tube to the air box and resonator. Pull the wire harness clip up to release from the intake tube. Remove the intake tube from the vehicle. Remove the two bolts that secure the resonator to the inner fender. Then remove the resonator from the vehicle. Disconnect the two mass air wire harness retaining clips from the air box. Then disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Remove the crankcase vent hose from the air box. Remove the fuel pressure regulator hose from the back side of the air box. Loosen the hose clamp at the throttle body. Then remove the two bolts that secure the air box to the engine. Remove the air box assembly from the engine. Install the two heat shield brackets onto the heat shield with the provided hardware. Install the small heat shield mounting bracket with the provided spacer onto the heat shield. Install the provided edge trim onto the heat shield. For vehicles with an ABS pump, remove the ABS pump mounting nut. Install the heat shield onto the vehicle and secure it with the provided hardware and the nut removed in step number 15 if applicable. Remove the factory crankcase vent hose from the valve cover. Then, reverse the hose and reconnect it onto the valve cover. Assemble the saddle clamp onto the tube mounting bracket with the provided hardware. Install the tube mounting bracket assembly onto the valve cover with the provided hardware. Install the silicone hose onto the throttle body with the provided hose clamps. Remove the two screws that secure the mass air sensor to the air box assembly. Then, remove the mass air sensor. Apply the gasket to the mass air sensor, sticky side down. Secure the mass air sensor to the K&N intake tube using the provided screws and spacers. Install the vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. Install the rubber mounted stud onto the K&N intake tube. Install the K&N intake tube onto the throttle body and align it with the saddle bracket. Secure the K&N intake tube to the saddle bracket with the provided hose clamps. Also, tighten the hose clamp attached to the throttle body. Remove the stock vacuum hose from the fuel pressure regulator. Attach the provided silicone hose to the fuel pressure regulator and then onto the K&N intake tube. Install the original crankcase vent hose onto the valve cover. Then, connect the opposite end of the crankcase vent hose onto the K&N intake tube. Install the radius filter adapter into the air filter and secure it with the provided hardware. 
Install the provided silicone hose onto the air filter assembly and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Install the K&N air filter onto the intake tube. Reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N intake kits to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension. Download installation instructions. View dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains for this product and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.